when we talk about this dimmer switch, which we've been talking about for many, many months, not an on and off switch, but a dimmer switch, it's based upon local conditions uh, that advance our ability to mitigate the spread of this virus. Those 19 counties, uh, again, that have been impacted by our action. These are the counties that have been on the watch list for at least three consecutive days. Uh, those counties, large and small, all up and down the state. Remember, California has 58 counties. Uh, these are 19 counties within the state, but these 19 counties represent over 70 percent of the population here in the state of California. Uh, with that, we have specifically targeted our efforts to close indoor operations. And I want to reinforce this, indoor operations in restaurants, wineries and tasting rooms, movie theaters, family entertainment, broadly defined uh, by guidelines that we have previously put out, zoos, museums, and card rooms in this state. Uh, I should note in anticipation question uh, that we have casinos in the state of California that are operating, uh, tribal sovereign nations. Uh, we are working very collaboratively as we did with the original stay at home order and working uh, with the guidelines that we put forth to allow them uh, to make modifications to their operations so they could reopen in certain counties in the state of California. Uh, we are uh, in deep conversations and we'll be making public uh, the fruits of those uh, efforts to uh, at least get a rationale of understanding uh, between our sovereign nation uh, and our partners in our sovereign nations and the state of California. So indoor operations. Uh, this doesn't mean restaurants shut down. It means that we're trying to take activities, many activities as we can, uh, these mixed activities, these concentrated activities, and move them outdoors, which is a way of mitigating the spread uh, of this virus. Not dissimilar, by the way, uh, some of these actions as you've seen in other states across the country. Again, based upon our, our information that come back from our health directors uh, and from evidence uh, that has been uh, grounded uh, and provided to us all across the world, not just across the rest of the nation as it relates to the unique characteristics uh, of being indoors for an extended period of time and airflow issues and the prospect of increased transmission of COVID-19. We have uh, as well made very clear our concerns around bars operating in the state of California. We had originally, and this was on Sunday, put out guidelines uh, for seven counties uh, that prohibited uh, bar operations. We had recommended uh, for an additional uh, number of counties, seven additional counties. So there were total, excuse me, of uh, 15 counties that we had originally mandated or recommended bar closure uh, with the addition of four counties now on that three-day watch list. Uh, we're just moving forward to close the operation uh, of all of those bars in all of the 19 counties uh, that I had just put forth. Additionally, uh, we are concerned as we have been uh, very vocal and, and very candid about in the past about activities, uh, concentration of activities out on our state uh, beaches. Uh, I was very grateful to uh, be, uh, well, opportunity to engage as we have with local health officials in Ventura County and LA County and elsewhere. Uh, Ventura and LA are just two examples uh, where their local elected officials, their local health officers have moved forward uh, to make modifications in terms of accessing uh, their beaches this weekend. Uh, the state of California is not mandating the closure of beaches this weekend, but we are uh, modifying our parking facility operations and closing them uh, to traffic uh, throughout the Southern California region, as well as parts of Monterey County, Santa Cruz, uh, in through the Bay Area and up along the North Coast, all the way up to Sonoma County. And that information is on our parks website, uh, but that is the new uh, mandate that we are putting out today. And by the way, that includes uh, consideration of modifications on some of our larger state parks where we've seen uh, increased activity where people simply aren't able to practice social distancing, practice physical distancing, uh, and those modifications are being made as well. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.